Hello, this is Jimmy and you are watching the Elementary Info YouTube channel. If you are looking for a herpes cure, visit the website link in this video's description and in the first comment. In today's video, we'll be talking about dietary considerations that can help manage herpes and potentially reduce outbreaks. Let's start with lysine. Lysine is an amino acid that may help reduce herpes outbreaks by inhibiting the virus's activity. Lysine-rich foods include fish, chicken, beef, dairy products, apples, and avocados. Adding these to your diet could make a difference. On the other hand, we have arginine. Arginine is another amino acid, but it can stimulate herpes replication, which might lead to more outbreaks. Foods high in arginine, like nuts, seeds, chocolate, oats, and wheat products, should be limited if you're prone to outbreaks. Staying hydrated is also important for managing herpes. Drinking enough water supports your immune system, which is key in fighting off viruses. Try to drink at least 8 cups of water a day, more if you're active or in a hot climate. Next up are immune-strengthening nutrients. Vitamin C, zinc, and B vitamins all play an essential role in immune health. Citrus fruits, strawberries, and leafy greens are great for vitamin C. Zinc can be found in pumpkin seeds, beans, and meat. And B vitamins, which help reduce stress, are plentiful in eggs, spinach, and whole grains. It's also a good idea to avoid stimulants and processed foods, as they can weaken your immune system and increase stress, both of which might trigger outbreaks. Try to limit coffee, tea, soft drinks, energy drinks, and sugary snacks. Finally, consider adding anti-inflammatory foods to your diet. Foods like berries, fatty fish, leafy greens, and turmeric can help reduce inflammation and support your immune system. By focusing on these dietary habits, you can help support your immune system and potentially reduce herpes outbreaks. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like the video, stay healthy, and see you next time.